a lot of people, most people, a lot of people were living in the country then when I was, when I was a boy. And uh, about in the in the year sixties, I think that's when they they had to feed the village. So in order for them to get their children go to school, and uh, at the same time with the priest was here, was stationary here in Shishishi. And uh, that's when the a lot of people have to move in in the community rather than go back in the country. And back in the years, a lot a lot of people went back and forth in the country, inland, out in Michigan, every direction, from uh, east and east and west. In the, in the early days, uh, they they lived in tents, and uh, anywhere anywhere where they comfortable for them to pitch a tent. And most I can remember mostly like uh, the people in Sheshashi were surround uh, where where the church was built. That's where mostly where the tents were because they were close to the to the people and to the priests. Mm. Do you have any stories from when you were a kid that you remember, or um, legends that you've heard that you uh, like to tell your grandchildren? Or well, I was I was I was told by my mother, my mother and my the elders that I was living with them, but mostly like uh, Oberlin, the, the the brothers of the, the all the animals, and Jacobish. And the other related to the animal stories that that were told by elders, handed down to generation to generation. And what about them? Like what about the Wolverine? Wolverine was the uh, the the, uh, the trickster. They call it. They call him trickster. They trick the the the, the animals that are they were who was with them, and uh, just some of them are very funny. There's some of them were imagine you can imagine how the story and the legend were told by the elders. And Jagavish, the story was the uh, the snaring the moon because he saw the tra track trail that was totally. Built by the moon, moon I guess the moon or sun, whatever they they refer to the elders. And he set a snare. And I guess the snare, and the moon got into the snare I guess, and uh, and there's darkness, there's darkness. They they couldn't uh, uh, see the sun. It was pitch dark, so they had to find some animal. To bite the 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 the, 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 the snaring the, the wire or the whatever the whatever the thing that they were using for snares in the in the elders in the old days. Mm -hmm. So they pick a mouse. They pick a mouse. They tried every animal that was, that they couldn't do. They couldn't bite off the snare. So they pick a mouse. He did it. <laughs> he snapped the. Uh, the snare and broke the thing and went to uh, daylight again. <laughs> That's the story that I heard from my my mother. <laughs> this one is I shorten up so I not to get too long of it. Oh, you can yeah. take lots of time. <laughs> yeah, you can take as much time. As and well. same way we do offering. They had uh, some uh, uh, different stories with him, with with the offering. Same thing I'll do with the Wolverine. That he call up uh, all the animals to have a feast to dance. One night, <laughs> all the animal, the flies, the fly animals like ducks and geese and everything that flies. So he told them that there's going to be a dance tonight. <laughs> so he pitched a tent. I guess he pitched a tent and uh, took the drum. And while they were and they. 
uh, they circled the, the, the fireplace, whatever was in the, uh, in the middle. So uh, every now and then, he picked the one, of the one of the birds and, and twisted his neck and put them in the sight. So uh, the loon was much, I guess, a, a bright, bright, brighted. And he noticed that he can't, he can't, he can't uh, feel the other, the other dancers around with, because it's Oberyn told him to shut the eyes out, out uh, shut, shut the eyes, mm -hmm. the eye, uh, eyes, and uh, keep on dancing. So the loon was checking if there was any other people, uh, any other birds were there, you know. And he found out there was not, there was not that many, <laughs> because there were. They were close together one time, you know, and uh, he, he suddenly opened one eye, <laughs> and uh, and he called out, "Our brother is killing us!" <laughs> so they ran out. They ran out the the, the, the tent, and uh, Loon was the last one who ran out, and uh, the Wolverine caught him by the the, the feather tail. They call it the tail. And 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 uh, rip them off the the, the 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 behind tails, and that's why the loon can't that much do his flying because he's doing towards when he flies he go towards the wind, and he get off the area of the water. You know? That's how I heard the story. <laughs> um. What was it like, like living? In a tent, like compared to say living uh, in a house. Uh, okay, let's give me the uh, the uh, the tent part of it. Uh, back in the old days, uh, because of uh, there are a lot of you know people living in tents, and they didn't. I mean, uh, 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 they didn't feel that that bad, you know. You know, you know what I mean. They get used to it, mm -hmm. the cold and the and the, in the summers and warm. And this kind of situation, you know, they didn't care. Uh, I guess they didn't care about it as long as they're they're, they're doing okay, you know. Live. Yeah, some uh, different stories with him, with with the Wolverine. Same thing I would do with the Wolverine. That he called up all the animals to have a feast or dance one night. <laughs> All the animal, the flies, the fly animals like ducks and geese and everything that flies. So he told them that there was going to be a dance tonight. <laughs> so he pitched a tent. I guess he pitched a tent and uh, took a drum. And while they were and they uh, they circled the, the the fireplace, whatever was in the uh, in the middle. So uh, every now and then, he picked the one of the, one of the birds. And and twist his neck and put them in the sight. So uh, the loon was much, I guess, a, a bright, bright, brighted. And he noticed that he can't, he can't, he can't uh, feel the other, the other dancers around with, because it's Oberyn told him to shut the eyes out, out uh, shut, shut the eyes. Mm -hmm. The eye, uh, eyes and uh, keep on dancing. So the loon was checking if there was any other people, uh, any other birds were there, you know. And he found out there was not, there was not that many, <laughs> because they were they were close together one time, you know. And uh, he, he suddenly opened one eye, <laughs> and uh, and he called out, "Our brother is killing us." <laughs> <laughs> so they ran out. They ran out the the, the, the tent, and uh, Loon was the last one who ran out. And uh, the Wolverine caught him by the the, the feather tail. They call it the tail. And 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 uh, ripped them off the the, the 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 behind tails, and that's why the Loon can't that much do his flying because he's doing towards when he flies he go towards the wind. And he get off the area of the water. You know? That's how I heard the story. With it.
<laughs> what was it like, like living in a tent, like compared to say living uh, in a house? Uh, okay, let, let's give me the uh, the uh, the tent part of it. Uh, back in the old days, uh, because of my, uh, the, a lot of Eno people living in tent, so they didn't. I mean, uh, 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 they didn't feel that that bad, you know. You know, you know what I mean. They get used to it, mm -hmm. the cold and the, and the, in the summers and warm, and this kind of situation. You know, they didn't feel. Uh, I guess they didn't care about it, as long as they're 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 doing okay. You know, living in the uh, and in the in the tents. But when they moved when they moved to uh, the houses. And I, that's where the hardship started because the, uh, the, the, the you're not familiar with the, the housing, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's where the where the, you have to uh, uh, you have to know how you how you can settle in the houses before, because you 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 used to it living in tent. Yeah, it's a different. And, and you have to start all over again when you move in the houses, you know, from the new, the new, the new, uh, the, the the way of uh, the the way of the the white people live in uh, in houses. I guess that's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But back in the old days, like you know, when you when you pitch a tent, you you stay there, you know, as long as you want to. Then you move to another place, stay there as long as you want to, too. Mm -hmm. And you can move easily from one place to another. But houses, you have to stay there for a long period of time, and a long, long time, too. Yeah. I can see how that would be hard for people, like, because they're used to moving. And yes. And then all it, of a sudden, it, you're... Like in the old days, they're, they're, it's more like uh, they stay in one 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 place together, and when they had to move, they moved to another place where they settled another uh, another few a few, uh, few months there and and all that you know. Mm -hmm. But living in houses, you have to be there all the time, mm -hmm. and that's that's the reason why the, the, a lot of people move. And they had to be educated with their with their children. How old were you when you moved to Shashashit? Uh I I was born in uh, in the country in Grand, up in the Grand Lake. And uh, when I was a little little boy, I was I, I was I was I was really living in Shashashit all my almost all my life. But when they moved to houses, that was in sixties, back in sixties, I think. That's when they moved uh, houses. When they built, when they built their houses in the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. What What's your favorite country food? My favorite country food. Okay, the, uh, uh, caribou is the most important in our in our traditional way of life. Caribou was the most, and uh, the other small games like partridge, rabbit, porcupine, ducks, and all the uh, the geese. But the main, the main, main part of our traditional traditional life was uh, caribou. Wherever you can get caribou. So what, um, like I remember people used to hang. Their bones, like, like outside of tents and stuff like that. Why is um, the uh, caribou important? And like, what do you mean? What did you say? Like uh, they used to hang the bones and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the elders were very sacred to the bones, like caribou, black bear, uh, even the, the 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 geese bones. And every animal that even small game like partridge, rabbit, they all and the porcupine, they all 
kept in the secret to themselves, I guess. And uh, they always, they always tell us, especially the elders, always take care of those those bones or hang them up on the tree or show show them in the water or they never. Well, I I was never told not to burn to burn those bones. But they always the the elders always told the younger people to hang them up on the tree for whatever they were have their tents in, where they were living in. And what would that do by hanging them up? I certainly don't know by, by well, as I was told by the elders, they kept them, like I say, sacred, sacred. and they, they even, the, the bones, and the and the animals have come. Uh, uh, what would I say? Uh, easily can be killed by the people who respect the, those those uh, bones. Mm -hmm. That's what I was told in the, in the, and by the elders. Always respect the bones. Like the the the, the main the main animals were respected was caribou. Black bear and the and the and the and the bees and uh, those other small animals were porcupine, rabbit, partridge, and all that. Mm -hmm. Did you have any specific questions too, Ben? Mm. He's my co-interviewer. ね、ね、僕は覚えてるんだけど、あの、とてもね、いいのが出てきて、ただ。ウィッチ、ウィッチでね、でも、でね、みたいな。え、でもこのいろいろ聞いてて。うん。で、まあ、山下とそこで出て
Isto gostou ali. Hum. Ele já tudo, ele já tudo torceu. Hum. Ele é óbvio. Eu morri de mal, não tem nada, ele estou. Hum. Pediu, pediu a ser muito, muito escutimão já. Muito escutimão, não é? Hum. Mas eu pensei que eu não estou lá, mas eu não tinha nenhum outro escadinho. Deu a ser noite que eu escutei mal. Tudo isso, não tem nada. Não vou notar mais, não pensei que eu pensei. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my years, my, I, 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 used, I, I did respect elders, 
whatever they say was 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 done by any other people or any other person. But to today, you just can't tell a younger person this is what we were mm. before we ourselves introduced into white society. Mm -hmm. And this is very difficult for even even myself. Mm. Even myself, I cannot cope everything that I was teach by the the white white way. I want to grab some of the elders that were told before me, and uh, I just. I don't think there's no way you can teach a young people today back back in let's say let's say 100 years back what we were we were told by the elders yeah but I I agree with you but um, I'm just wondering about things can change for the better too and I'm just wondering about like ways of being that people can adapt, uh, try to relearn, like respect and kindness and whatever those qualities that Inu had before that need to come back. Like, what do you think? Well, the only, the, the, the only thing I can think of is to teach while they're still young people, especially our own culture and our our own identity and our traditional way, ways of our, our ways, you know. When they sh when they're still young, teach them as, as as much as you can, as we can, to teach them. Rather than to. Rather than to uh, forget just just about everything, you know, back back about their their own. Traditional culture. Yeah. I'm very, very, very sad when I see my community. The way the young, the younger people walk the direction away from their own, their own culture. The the, the way I see it is it there is more alcohol more drugs, more not real realizing themselves, especially the young generation, that they, they have to change. Mm -hmm. That's the way I look at the community. They have to change. Mm -hmm. But we can help alongside with them as a, as a parent, as a grandparent, as a leader, or as a, a group. Mm -hmm. As a community. Or as a community, yes. Yeah. I was always um, struck by um, how different people were when they're in the country compared to how they were in the in the community. It's like two worlds, eh, the way people uh, act. Yes. I can remember when I was a young, young, young lad, young fellow, there were, there were people visit to the other people who, were, who had to pitch their tent alongside of them or close to them. They were visiting. Nowadays, the visiting is no more, no longer, <coughs> as, as, as today. Mm. Only you, you probably visit your, your daughter or son, but the other rest are there, they seem to be forgotten. That's the way I see it in the community. Yeah. There's no visiting, there's no more visiting. Mm. Only their daughters or sons and or the or the, the or the the children visit their mom and dad. That's how it is now. 
that change? That's, that's the change, you know. You, you, you see those kind of changes yeah. very, very fast. They visit the TV. What? I said people visit their TV. <laughs> yeah, they're more stick to their TV. Yeah. Or they're more like stick their own, their own, their own. Yeah. Their own way. Yeah, I noticed that too. Even when I used to live here, people visited all the time, and now. Are you are you from here? Oh, by the way, can I ask you? Yeah, yeah, Joe Tritina's daughter. Oh, who? Joe Tritina. Yeah, the pitada telefonsina no aspera. To own. Oh, okay, Joe. Oh, Joe, Joe. Yeah. Oh, that's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he he used to live in uh, next door. Yeah. Where I live now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I know that. I'm, I'm the I'm the eldest. Oh, the eldest. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm the eldest daughter. Yeah. There's a lot of changes here in the, in, the, in our community. Even though they, like the school kids are using, they're breaking their they they're breaking their language from English to Inu. Mm -hmm. They're using half, half and half. Mm -hmm. Most, not a lot of them. Yes, I can, I see that. Too. Yeah. Like if I ask that gentleman here, sits alongside to us, if I if I use my own my own elder elder word, I don't think he would understand it. Yeah. That's the thing, see. Yeah. Well, <coughs> they, don't, yeah. they don't they don't keep it mm -hmm. so long lo much longer than you than you expect, you know. Yeah, but uh, that's why we're doing the video, is to um, so that the kids can see it on the uh, the yeah. computer and like yeah. they can learn. Yeah, and, and also they, they have ex, ex, they, they know they they can watch yeah. the differences, what moves in the community, and what they losing. Mm -hmm. Especially, I'm I'm afraid like the, the language won't be lost. I think mm -hmm. in in the, in the in the in the in the future. Yeah. Because I notice a lot of kids in the school in this school here, they're using half, like I say half and half. Yeah. If they can say the if if they can say the if they don't know the word in you know they use English word. Yeah. That's the way it, that's the way it goes in the village here. Yeah. And I see a lot of places in a, in Quebec North Shore, same thing. Yeah. 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 That's 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 mm -hmm. that's the thing, you know. You you, you just mm -hmm. you just can't see. You just can't see and let it let it go. Yeah. What exactly. are some old words that you learned as a child that the people don't know now? Uh, the, the lot of, there's a lot of words I did I did learn, and uh, the thing is that our our generation were f were were f weren't using too much, like we didn't bother to use too much. Okay. We kept it. Uh, we we kept it away from us, you know. Not, not, it's, it's us. It's us who did it. Who didn't want to use that old the old the, the elders, their language. And this is, it, I I can tell you a lot of new generation. I forgot forgot those wordy even wordings. Yeah. Even the words are forgotten now. Yeah. But what is one word that that you know that the kids don't know is now? Uh, they may not know uh, What does that mean? That means that's an old uh, where where you had where you pitch your tent or, or the, and you you move another place oh, okay. and you come back to the same place and you saw you saw this uh, a, a place that was was put a tent there and you, we call it the mm -hmm. the other word is uh the same way i forgot by it see that's a new. That's about just new. That, that, that's the old, the old. Where you, where you, 
or you you cook something, okay? Yeah. And uh, rabbit or partridge or geese or whatever you cook, you you boil the bread on it on top of it. <laughs> yeah. And we call it paka pakayagat. What's another word? I'm testing you now. No. <laughs> no I can't remember more. That is that is something I know, but I can't think of now. Pakatagan. Uh, Potash. Pakatagan. They might they might they might a lot of kids here with my don't know what Pakatagan what is. What does it mean? Potash. Oh potash. Pakatagan. Potash and uh, what else? Uh, I can't think of no. I got too many too many. <laughs> But if you told me earlier what you expect me, mm -hmm. to, I would have a, just of it, yeah. bring, bring my, uh, what do you call it, brainstorm, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 I would have done that. If you, if you were telling me ahead of, ahead of time. Yeah. There's a lot of things that are very... But they don't. We don't use them anymore now. So yeah. That's the. That's the thing. You, you just can't. But see, our our generation, like our, the new the, the new elders, like myself or the other people here in the community, they they going to use a different wording. Mm -hmm. That's going to be taken. Uh, that's going to be used by the 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 the, the newcomers in the future. Mm -hmm. Same way with the wordings, the words. Yeah. It's a changing language. Yeah, yeah. changing ways. Yeah. 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 Do you all have anything else to uh, add to the video? What, what, in what ways? <laughs> I don't know. Just anything that you want to pass on to the next generation, the next generation. Uh, I'll, I'll, I think the, the only way I can say to the younger people is that I hope they don't lose their culture, their identity, and their, uh, their, their traditional ways, and to keep their language strong. Because in the in 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 the, in the future, I think if we if we if our elders and new generation are not using their language, that will be completely lost. Mm -hmm. And I hope they they keep their language strong mm -hmm. and their identity. ね、ジェニーが ステイトーノ。ナレテウェトーティ。バンナンテニンジェワスナンテムイトウィトマニット。ネネメテンダオネテウェシカタウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウウ